Okay, I'm here again. Um, in my other video, I, I unboxed this. Um, in my other video, I unboxed this computer. And this is the HP Notebook PC. It's 15-R110DX. And I'm just doing a video with um, me putting this battery in on this model and just basically starting it up. Okay, hold that for me. Okay, let's see how to do this. The battery is a lot slender than what I'm used to. Um, oh, does this plastic need to be removed? You see that, sweetie? Okay, some plastic needs to be removed. Okay, and it has this thing in here and that thing in there. So I guess I'm snapping this in. Yeah, it lines up. It's some more plastic. I haven't taken any plastic off this computer at all. Okay. That's in. I wonder how you take it out. Oh, okay. You got some buttons down here. If you can see them, lay this flat. Goes that way and that way. Is that how you pop it out? Have to read the instruction, but it seems like you would, yeah, pop it out that way. I like to know exactly how to put stuff in and how to take it out as well. Okay, so snapping that back in that's neat. Okay, let me put the power plug, goes right here because I remember seeing that in the store, and I'm just Gonna do a video with oh, it's a little teeny orange light. I'm used to having lights on the front of my computer, and so that's different. And that's when I would see an orange light on my other computer, that would tell me it needs to charge. I don't know what this tells me for this model because I'm not familiar with this model yet. But let's turn this on. This is gonna be a booting up computer. Okay, and there's the power button. Can you see it? It's right there. No, it's black. Oh, what's that little eye? Is that for the wireless symbol? Yeah, and it's orange. Oh, here's some little plastic on my mouse. And I'm such a trip. Like stickers like this, I do not remove. It's like, but what about this? Is kind of a new one. I haven't seen that. I don't remove this one. But I don't know how I feel about keeping this on the whole time. Look at that. Is that something that's going to do just the first time, you think? Or do you think it's going to do that every time? Every time? So every time you think it's going to take this long to boot up? Or, okay, not just initial. Okay, well, it's asking me some stuff, and I'm just doing the um, sign-in process, and I'll come back at you later and let you know how this system holds up. Okay, I'm going to see how far I can go with this without asking me any personal information that I didn't want on camera. It's asking for my region and language and all of that. 
seems accurate, and I've changed my time zone, of course. And I'm hitting next. And it's asking me about license terms, and you can read over that. And it's asking me to register this product, and I'm going to come off camera for that part. Okay, and so I hit next on my personal information, and it says personalized pick a color. Let's see. I wonder can my device really pick up the beautiful color of this machine. That's a little better, better than the angle I have it at. That's a little clear. Here you go, sweetie. Me and my sweetie, we're just in bed. Um, getting the laptop set up. Pick a color you would like and give your PC a name. You'll be able to personalize it later. Mm, pick a color. Oh, wow. Do you like that, babe? Yeah. That's girly swirly. Just like you. Well, I know red is my favorite color. But, oh, that's cute, too. Well, I'm feeling that. That look purpley. I like how it looked the first time I clicked on it. Oh, that's the one. What do you think I should pick? Um, girly swirly. Ooh, that's pinky winky. Or that one right there. Yeah, girly swirly. Or that one right there, red hot. What you think? <laughs> Which one, babe? Come on, seriously. Girl, it's really. That one? Okay. And give your PC a name, and then I'm going to click next. Okay, so next it wants you to get online and pick a network and go online to finish setting up your PC. Wonderful. I'll get my network set up, and I'll be right back. Okay, I picked custom customize because I saw it wanted to use Bing to get search suggestions. And I'm a Google girl, so I did want to customize that one particular feature. Next, you set up your account. And I'm going to go off camera for this private okay. information. It's not really showing my girly swirly color I guess oh that does a little better okay now I entered my um make sure I'm not covering up any microphones I entered my password etc to my email and this is the next screen is asking me okay and you can hold that for me Okay, use express settings, you think, as opposed to customize? Yeah. Hmm. Okay, I picked custom customize because I saw it wanted to use Bing to get search suggestions. And I'm a Google girl. So I did want to customize that one particular feature. Next, you set up your account. And I'm going to go off camera for this. Okay, so this is where I am right now. I just finished doing, um, it was asking for my Microsoft um, account information. And I know I had to have Microsoft account information because <laughs> I do. And so I just had to go through a process on my other device. The What's my password? I forgot because I kept trying to enter it in and it wouldn't take. And so anyway, got through that, got that set up, um, password reset. And this is where I am where it's asking. And I'm, from what I've been kind of learning about Windows 8, which I'm not a huge fan of, um, that you can sync a lot of stuff together. So this is what it's asking me about. And it looks like you have the option to not do that as well. But that's what I'm going to go ahead and do. And it's setting up my account. This is not a long process. But I guess 
and then move as quick because I didn't know my Microsoft password by heart and I didn't have it down. It's saying hi, how you're doing? Glad to see you. We're setting things up for you. I'm glad you are. You can get new apps from the store. I don't know, this app thing is kind of weird to me because I have a tablet, so it's kind of like I want to get on a laptop to do laptop type of stuff. And on my tablet, I want to do my tablet stuff. I want to keep those separate, but I don't know. This is how the earth is now. We're just kind of going to put it all together. And that's where I am. It's installing my apps. So I didn't get touch screen. They have a lot of touch screen computers on the market because I don't want a touch screen computer. I got a tablet. And um, I don't know, those touch screens, I just want a nice crystal clear picture too. Um, it, it's, it's just probably me, but I'm okay with not a touch screen. But I guess for somebody who doesn't have a tablet, they wouldn't really mind. But I don't want to have two devices like that it's just yeah I want a laptop for when I'm kind of not as mobile and a tablet I could just take it anywhere just all over the place and I like I like having that flexibility you would have to really kind of seek out what your needs are and that's going to help you pick the best laptop or tablet at one point I think about two, three years ago, I was trying to get a new laptop and when I really took took down my knees and what I wanted, I really found out I needed a tablet. So, I'm just going to step away for a moment while I wait on this to install the app. So, I don't want to keep you waiting and me just talking because I do have a lot to say. <laughs> oh, let's say Let's start. Make sure I get a clear picture. There we go. It's saying, let's start. Well, that looks beautiful. What is that, like a winding road? Well, I'm up, and I love this screen. Like this, without that app. I'm going to, without that app thing running across the screen. From what I've looked at, I'm going to put my cursor right here. And I bet it's going to bring that funky screen that I'm not interested in having yeah there it go I'm an old school girl old school girl loves that <laughs> okay well I'm in and make sure you subscribe to my channel I have one video that I unboxed this machine and this video is just me showing me booting it up and getting it set up and like I said it, it didn't take a long time the only time it really took is when I had to um through my Microsoft code. And the reason I did that because it said that you can sync your favorites, da 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 da. And I have another computer that um was replacing this computer with that one. And I have a lot of favorites on there. And if I could sync all that stuff, it would be beautiful. So that's why I did that. But other than that, I'm in and subscribe and I'll tell you how I like it. Because a lot of times with reviews, people a review a product. And they've used it two weeks. I love it. It's great. It's wonderful. Such a joy. And it's like, well, I want to talk to you after four weeks. I want to talk to you after six weeks. I want to talk to you after three months and see how you really like it. That's the kind of purchaser and buyer I am. And so go ahead and subscribe to my channel because I will be doing updates. Bye-bye. <laughs>